Today I'm gonna to answer the question that nobody is asking. Can I make a tiny little four plant tower garden? And can I make a absolutely monstrous 100 plant 20 foot tower garden? Let's answer that question. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how I took Tower Garden Family Bundle and broke it up to make this absolutely adorable little four plant tower garden with a trellis. I also have one regular tower garden. This is the regular tower garden flex five plate unit. This is what you would get if you went down to my description box, clicked on that link, and then went to tower garden flex and purchased one. This is what will come to your door. Then behind that, this rather large tower garden is 15 plate tower garden. And now it's not actually 20 feet tall. It's close to 20 feet tall at 16 feet tall. I was afraid to go any taller because I have high winds out here. And as you can see, I actually already had to anchor this tower garden to the banister because I was afraid that once I got plants growing on it, it would become too top heavy and it could snap the base. But before I get into how I made this monster tower garden, I wanna run you guys through my little tiny tower garden. Also, I think it's important that you guys know that all three of these tower gardens, everything that you see here, all came from one tower garden family bundle. Because the, the bundle comes with three individual tower gardens, one trellis, and each tower garden comes with two extensions. So you can mix and match and get creative with your tower gardens. I just got really creative with this set. So the shorter tower garden, you might be asking yourself, what would you even use that for? There's only four holes for plants, but I actually have the perfect use for this. And the reason I have a trellis on it is because I have a orange lilikoi plant that I'm really excited to plant in this, otherwise known as passion fruit. I've been excited to grow passion fruit hydroponically, and this is the perfect garden to let these four plants just go absolutely crazy and fill out the trellis. So to create this small little garden, the Tower Garden Flex unit actually comes with the first plate already attached to the top of the base. So all I had to do to make this garden was just put the little top plate on, and that was it. Now I'm just gonna fill it and watch them grow. And then we're gonna move past the standard Tower Garden Flex. That's gonna be filled with sugar snap peas because my kids are obsessed now, to the absolutely monstrous 15 plate Tower Garden. So to make this tower garden, I just took the extra four plates from my Lilikoi tower garden, and I took all of the extra extension kits that each one of these tower gardens came with, which would be, which would be six extensions all together, and I just put those all on top of each other on top of this garden. Now, keep in mind, all of this is held together by metal rods that run straight up through the middle. So I had to make sure those rods were nice and tight and secure and in the right places going all the way up to the top. You can't just put tower gardens together and not put the rods through them. They're gonna leak or wind blows and they'll blow over or they become top heavy. These tower gardens are designed for really large plants to grow out of. I can't say they're designed for what I'm gonna be doing here. Uh, so with that in mind also, let me tell you about what I'm gonna be growing in this monstrous tower garden. Because I, I do have the industry leading 20 gallon reservoir, there isn't a reservoir bigger on the market. That's great. However, if I were to fill all of these with fruiting plants like tomatoes or something, then that would never make it through a day. I need to make sure that I'm filling this tower garden with plants that don't drink a ton of water. So what I'm gonna do is fill this with leafy greens and herbs. And then at the very top, I want to allow some small flowers to cascade down so that this can be a bit of a beacon for any pollinators that can come over to pollinate my other tower gardens. Now, I don't know if this is structurally going to hold up to the wind. Uh, like I said, I anchored it already, but I don't know what's going to happen when plants get in there. It could just break the base altogether. I don't think Tower Garden would endorse this idea, but I'm doing it anyway and I'm reporting it for you guys because I think it's really cool to be able to grow this many plants in such a small footprint. So if I can pull this off, then I might just do a few more of these absolutely insane Tower Gardens uh, for all of my leafy greens and my herbs. Because why not, right? All you have to do is upgrade the pump. 
Be sure to check out the School of Hydroponics live and evolving community. I'm doing my live Q&A this Saturday, so make sure you get your questions in before Saturday so that I can answer them for you live. Uh, we also have an amazing community of people over there to answer any other questions, as well as an expansive library of guides. I've revised all of my old guides, as well as put together a ton of new guides just for the School of Hydroponics community. So make sure you check that out in the description box or right there. I'm also running a 25% off sale on Master Your Tower Guard which is my 14 part tower garden mastering series it teaches you everything that you need to know to be a formidable hydroponic gardener and grow anything out of your tower garden all right so make sure you're subscribed so that you can follow these grows things are getting crazy over here with my tower garden farm and i can't wait to share it with you guys and the school of hydroponic community so let's grow together